Welcome back, anime nerds! Get ready to step into the poignant world of solitude as we unveil the top 10 anime where the main character is a loner. Someone who is antisocial and struggles to make connections. Several of these shows depict how the characters transform from loners into social butterflies, while others show how a loner operates in a social world. Join us as we explore the emotional landscapes of characters who find themselves lonely. So without further delay, let's begin. So to kickstart our list, at number 10 we have Platinum End. This anime sucks, well maybe let's change the word there. It puts the viewers deep into, oh that's worse. It plunges, yes it plunges. This anime plunges the viewers into a whirlwind of celestial drama with our loner protagonist Mirai who's about as charismatic as a potato in a beauty pageant. His life is like a filler arc in a long running anime where every day feels like Groundhog Day with more existential dread. The main character's journey through Platinum End is like a roller coaster ride through the depths of despair and the heights of divine intervention, from grappling with the weight of his newfound angelic powers to navigating the treacherous waters of celestial politics. The main character's life is a series of unfortunate events with a sprinkle of supernatural chaos, but as the story unfolds, he begins to shed his loner persona and embraces his destiny as a chosen one. With the help of his celestial allies and a newfound sense of purpose, he slowly learns that being a loner doesn't mean he has to face his struggles alone. Overall, Mirai's journey in Platinum End is a thrilling and emotionally charged exploration of the battle between good and evil, proving that even the most unlikely of heroes can arise to the occasion when fate comes knocking. Then here at number 9 we have bottom tier character Tomozaki. Here we follow the misadventures of Fumia, our loner main character who's as socially graceful as a newborn baby. And that may still not be enough. He stumbles through high school life like a protagonist in a rom-com, except he's more likely to trip over his own shoelaces than to find love at first sight. The main character's journey is a roller coaster of awkward encounters, failed attempts at fitting in, and more cringe-worthy moments than a Sword Art Online filler episode. From stumbling over his words during class presentations to getting stuck in the friend zone faster than Goku can power up to Super Saiyan, his life is a comedy of errors, but amidst the chaos, Fumia gradually learns the importance of genuine connections and the value of stepping out of his comfort zone. He may start as a bottom tier character, but with each stumble and fall, he inches closer to leveling up in the game of life. Overall, the main character's journey in the show is a relatable and often hilarious exploration of the highs and lows of adolescence, proving that even the most socially awkward loners can find their place in the world. And after that, at number 8 we have Irodoku, The World in Colors, an anime that paints a vibrant picture of its loner artist whose life is about as colorful as a black and white manga panel. He's like the protagonist of his own slice of life anime, except he's more likely to be found lost in his own thoughts than engaging in epic battles or romantic arcs. The main character's journey is a ride of self-discovery and artistic expression as he navigates the ups and downs of high school life while grappling with his own inner turmoil. From struggling to find inspiration for his paintings to wrestling with his emotions toward his estranged mother, Yuito's path is anything but straightforward. But as he opens himself up to new experiences and forms connections with those around him, Yuito begins to add splashes of color to his previously monochrome world with each stroke of his brush and each step he takes outside of his comfort zone. Yuito learns that life is a canvas waiting to be painted with the hues of adventure and friendship. Overall, a heartwarming and visually stunning exploration of the transformative power of art and human connection, proving that even the quietest loners can find beauty in the world around them. Then at number 7 we surprisingly have a movie on this list, and it's none other than Colorful. This movie splashes onto the screen with a protagonist as dull as a grey sky on a rainy day. Makoto, the ultimate loner who's about as lively as a snail in slow motion, his life is like a filler arc in a shonen anime where every day blends into the next with all the excitement of watching paint dry. But our main character's journey through Colorful is like a slow motion train wreck, with each awkward encounter and missed opportunity adding another layer of monotony to his already mundane existence. From failing to connect with his classmates to struggling to find his place in the world, his life is a series of missed cues and lost chances. But as the story unfolds, the dude begins to add splashes of color to his otherwise grayscale world. With the help of some unexpected friends and a newfound sense of purpose, he slowly learns that life is more than just going through the motions. 
It's about embracing the beauty and chaos of the world around him. So, a show that is a touching and visually striking exploration of the struggles of adolescence and the power of human connection. Proving that even the loneliest of loners can find their place in the world if they're willing to open their hearts to the colors of life. Sound interesting? Well, then I recommend you go watch it. Next up at number 6, we have a show that simply put is a freaking vibe. If you already guessed it, congrats! You sure have a decent taste. And for those who haven't, it's Call of the Night. A show that invites viewers into the nighttime adventures of our loner protagonist whose social life is as lively as a graveyard on a Monday night. His existence is like a filler episode in a supernatural anime where every encounter with the paranormal is just another day at the office. His journey through Call of the Night is like stumbling into a dark alley and discovering it leads to a hidden world of vampires and romance. From awkwardly navigating his newfound nocturnal lifestyle to uncovering the mysteries of his own past. Dude's life is a roller coaster of blood sucking antics and heart fluttering encounters. But amidst the chaos, the main character begins to embrace his inner vampire and carve out his place in the world of the undead. With the help of his enigmatic vampire mentor and a colorful cast of supernatural characters, he embarks on a quest for acceptance and self discovery. So, this show is basically a thrilling and occasionally hilarious exploration of the supernatural proving that even the loneliest of loners can find their place in the darkness if they're willing to sink their teeth into adventure. So if you want a show you can completely vibe with, then be my guest. Next up we have another high school rom-com and at number 5 it is my teen romantic comedy Snafu. I would say the whole thing but it's just too long so I'm just gonna call it Snafu. So here are loner protagonists whose social skills are as polished as a rusted sword in a fantasy RPG. His existence is like a filler episode in a high school drama anime where every interaction with his classmates feels like a battle in a shogi match. The main character's journey throughout Snafu, however, is like navigating a minefield of awkward encounters and existential crises. From reluctantly joining the service club to helping his peers solve their personal problems, his life is a roller coaster of emotional chaos and unsmiling wit. But amidst the chaos, the dude learns the value of genuine connections and the importance of being true to himself. With the help of his fellow misfits and a healthy dose of sarcasm, he embarks on a quest for self-acceptance and understanding. Overall, the main character's journey in Snafu is a hilarious and thought-provoking exploration of adolescence and the complexities of human relationships, proving that even the loneliest of loners can find their place in the world if they're willing to let down their guard and open themselves up to the possibility of connection. And at number 4 we have the infamous Hyoka. An anime that invites viewers into the mundane yet mysterious world of our loner protagonist whose social skills are as dormant as a sleeping titan in Attack on Titan. His existence is like a filler arc in a slice of life anime where every mundane task feels like a herculean feat. His journey through Hyoka is like solving a never ending puzzle of everyday mysteries. From reluctantly joining the classic literature club to begrudgingly using his deductive skills to uncover the truth behind seemingly trivial incidents. The main character's life is a roller coaster of intellectual stimulation and deadpan humor. But during all this, the dude learns the value of embracing life's little mysteries and the joy of connecting with others. With the help of his curious classmates and a reluctant sense of curiosity, he embarks on a quest for self discovery and personal growth. So if by any chance you still haven't seen Hyoka, go and watch it right now. And it is from Kyoto Animation, the same studio that made anime like Violet Evergarden and A Silent Voice. And now welcoming us to the top 3, or should I say the loneliest 3 of this list, is none other than Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. Now before you judge this anime, go watch it first. Believe me when I say this. This is not what you will expect at all. But that's not the topic here. The topic is the main character of this show, our loner protagonist whose social skills are as rusty as a neglected mech in a Gundam hangar. His existence is like a filler arc in a high school romance anime where every encounter with the supernatural is just another day in a harem. But even after that, the dude throws bombs that you can't even imagine simps like Sakura saying, and he somehow has two friends who are more like parents than friends, and yet this dude manages to frizz up the hottest girl in the anime, and what about you? Still single, eh? Well, there's always me. Anyways, his journey through Bunny Girl Senpai is like stumbling into a parallel universe where puberty syndrome is the norm and bunny girls roam the streets. 
From awkwardly navigating his way through romantic entanglements to confronting his own inner demons, Sakura's life is a whirlwind of emotional highs and lows. So if you are up for some non-stop craziness, dive right into the show. Next we have Welcome to the NHK at the runners-up position of today's list. Another anime that throws viewers into the chaotic life of its loner protagonist, a dude whose social skills are about as sharp as a spoon in a knife fight, his existence is like a filler episode in Horimiya, where every day is a struggle against the forces of adulthood and responsibility, but still, the main character's journey through Welcome to the NHK is like stumbling through a maze blindfolded with each wrong turn leading to another dead end of despair, from battling crippling social anxiety to falling into the depths of internet addiction. The main character's life is a tragic comic tale of missed opportunities and self-sabotage. But amidst the chaos, the dude begins to uncover the truth about himself and the world around him. With the help of his eccentric neighbor and a motley crew of misfits, he embarks on a quest for redemption and self-discovery. So if you are interested in this awesome ride, hop right on in. But coming up with the loneliest main character in the anime world is March comes in like a lion. So meet our loner protagonist, Ray, whose social skills are as elusive as One Piece's One Piece. His existence is like a filler episode in Haikyuu, where every move feels like a life or death battle. Ray's journey through March comes in like a lion is like navigating a stormy sea of emotions and self-doubt. From grappling with the weight of his traumatic past to finding solace in the warmth of his newfound family. His life is a roller coaster of highs and lows, with each turn of the page revealing new challenges and revelations. But amidst the turmoil, the main character learns the value of resilience and the power of human connection. With the help of his eccentric friends and a reluctant sense of determination, he embarks on a quest for redemption and self-discovery. Even though it may sound generic, believe me, it is not. So, please give this one a try. Well, that's the list for today, guys. If you were able to make it this far, please be sure to comment on which shows you think are absolutely garbage. Also, don't forget to click on that bell icon and set us all to be notified about all our latest new videos if you enjoy today's content. And hey, why not subscribe as well? And also, let me know who your favorite introvert main character is, and let me know in the comments down below. And as for now, I'll catch you later. See you in the next one.